Um, welcome everyone to the General Assembly of the Philippine International Studies Organization. I'm very happy that you're here to attend this assembly. I think we're still waiting for a few more people. Um, let me verify that. Okay, I think we can start. All right, so um, to start things off, I shall um, read the accomplishment report for uh, the year 2020 to 2021. Um, a lot of things were achieved in this time despite the pandemic and the trying times. Starting off with uh, the book it was edited by myself and Nasif Adiong, and that was in April 2020, International Studies in the Philippines, uh, released by Routledge mapping new frontiers in uh, theory and practice. And this was a joint effort by uh, several members of FISO and some of our networks. And we're very proud to have this book out. If you get a chance, please borrow it or read it. Um, another milestone for 2020 was um, our associate membership at the Association of Asian Social Science Research Councils, AASSREC. And we recently joined the conference and business meeting um, of the AASSREC um, last month, I believe it was. And in addition to that, next slide, please. Um, there was a, a conference that took place last year in collaboration with uh, Miriam College and UP Center for Integrative and Development Studies, uh, the Colonial Studies Program decolonizing global studies, charting trends, mapping trajectories. This was September last year. There was a workshop and also a conference uh, that took place over the course of uh, three days. And uh, this conference as well taking place in 2021. Okay, next slide. Okay, uh, well, I, I wouldn't want to congratulate myself, so I'll congratulate uh, uh, Nasa Fadiong for uh, his being elected as one of the governing board officers of WISC or the World International Studies Committee, while I represented uh, South and Southeast Asia at the Global South Caucus of International Studies um, of the ISA last year. And uh, there is an upcoming election and nomination period uh, for the Global South Caucus that is ongoing. All right. Uh, in 2021, we started out with FISO being registered as a participant of the United Nations Global Compact. Um, this is a big milestone for FISO. And uh, yes, next slide. Thank you. And uh, a joint series of uh, lectures took place at Miriam College. This was conducted uh, online with the Department of International Studies in collaboration with FISO. And this was a series of uh, lectures on regional boundaries and regionalism uh, featuring speakers, Dr. Bao Gang He and uh, Mr. Don McLean uh, Jill. And also uh, Manuel Inverga or BJ Inverga as uh, as I know him. And then also um, Ms. Des, uh, is it Caseros? Sorry, I can't read the, the slide. Yes, um, featured um, as speakers, a uh, seri series of lectures in different regions in, uh, in Asia. Yes, Des Roseros from Adu. Yes, that's right. Thank you. All right, um, next slide, please. Uh, we also began our working paper series on the website, and um, I think this is a great initiative to make scholarship known to the public. Um, there have been papers published before, and this is one that was released in 2021 uh, by Andreas helberg Rote, um, Freedom Without Equality, Reinventing a Floating Balance of Both. Uh, the working papers can be accessed on the FISO website, and should you have any working papers that you wish to publish on the website, um, you may also submit them uh, to FISO for review and publication. All right. And I, in terms of education, we were also um, called upon to assist in the establishment of an international studies uh, degree program at the Central Luzon State University, um, Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. This has been something we have been 
doing before. And uh, we're very happy to assist and uh, advise or serve a consultative um, function in the development of educational programs or training modules or workshops that have to do with international studies or alternatively decolonial approaches to international studies um, for various institutions. Okay, uh, I think that's about it. And we come to uh, the main event, which is the announcement of the election results, which took place online from October 25 to November 5. And uh, I'm very happy to present to you the new board of trustees for FISO and the results of the first election. Here they are, their lovely faces. We have seven who were uh, elected and uh, they decided amongst themselves uh, in terms of positions in the board. Um, so first we'd like to present, I'll read their names presently, the, the new president of uh, FISO, uh, Archil Nina Fayer Capistrano. Congratulations, Archil. Uh, and here uh, are the three or three uh, officer positions. Kobe Loterinia is our new executive secretary and vice president for membership. Congratulations, Kobe. Um, Kebli Kayan, who has also been instrumental to, in the organization of this conference, is the new treasurer. Congratulations. And uh, John Harvey Gamas from ADU is the vice president for uh, publications. So congratulations, everyone. And last but not least, uh, Patrick Dave Bugarin is our new vice president for charter and references. Congrats, Patrick. Is he here? That's from uh, still in Taiwan, Patrick. Uh, Melanie Reyes is the vice president for the conference, which uh, indicates where we'll be having the conference uh, next year, knock on wood. Congratulations, Mel. And Erickson Kalata is the new vice president for linkages. Okay, congratulations, everyone. Um, may we have uh, the officers turn on their videos, please? to uh, show everyone, okay, I'm probably doing this. Okay, yes, hello. Um, so uh, we'll be taking the oath for newly elected officers. So please raise your right hand. Okay, and uh, repeat after me. Maybe you could unmute your mics, is that possible? Um, or is it by, by the host? Yes. Uh, team, please assist the request. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kobe, you too. All right. Are we all ready? Yes. Okay. In the presence of the members assembled in this virtual congregation, I, I, virtually nearby. Do solemnly promise and pledge that I will faithfully execute the duties and responsibilities of being an elected trustee and officer of the Philippine International Studies Organization. Of being an elected trustee and officer of the Philippine International Studies Organization. To the best of my knowledge and ability, to the best, the best of my knowledge and ability, to commit myself to FISO's charter, to commit myself to FISO's charter, further the objectives of FISO, further the objectives of FISO, and assume full responsibility for this honorable organization. And assume, and assume full responsibility for this honorable organization. Thank you very much and congratulations once again to all new elected officers. Virtual claps. Uh, that is it for the accomplishment report and the, uh, the presentation of the newly elected officers. And I now give the floor to uh, Archil for uh, the closing remarks.
Thank you very much, Frankie. And to the members of FISO who are gathered here tonight, a good evening to everyone. It is with great pressure, actually, to be accepting this huge responsibility of being the president of the Philippine International Studies Organization. Just two years ago in 2019, I was relieved to turn over the responsibility of organizing the conference to Miriam College. And that's something we had last year on decolonial studies. And this year is a different thing. It's a, another way around because I am accepting a huge responsibility. It's a huge footprint to actually fill so much achievements already, so young an organization. And I feel that this is such a privilege to be able to serve FISO because FISO has nurtured also my professional and academic growth at times when I was uncertain in my academic journey, particularly in terms of my career, FISO never let go. And FISO has been constant in its confidence in me. And that's why the 2019 FISO conference became a resounding success because FISO believes in people, in young scholars particularly, and we will continue to believe in young scholars, the undergraduates included. We hope to continue the huge tasks that are set before us. We will continue the International Relations in Southeast Asia book series. We will be preparing for the 2022 Exploratory Workshop as a precursor for another publication project. We will be doing our efforts to also prepare for the 2023 International Conference. Of course, we are open to collaborations with other entities who will probably want to collaborate with us in case there would be an opportunity to organize yet another International Conference next year. We will hope to do also the Philippine IR Reader and further our digital footprint, make it more widespread. We are seeing changes in the academe, in Philippine academia, especially with the infusion of young blood, of seeing the openness of minds to do decoloniality, decolonial studies and veering away from Western or Eurocentric IR because the Global South voice deserves to be audible. And we scholars in the Global South deserve visibility. From disciplining the discipline in 2017, we will continue to go forward towards rethinking regions the bioregions now in the Anthropocene, and of course, to the praxis turn in IR. Now we are seeing yet another milestone for FISO as we engage in meaningful conversations about the global Anthropocene. Onward with this noble objective or set of objectives for FISO. And I am so proud to be with dedicated people in the new Board of Trustees. Thank you so much to the Board of Trustees that has been with us to nurture FISO to what it is today and what it is to become because we continue forging these good relations. We would like at this moment to thank the people that has brought this conference into the resounding success that it is. To our chair, of course, Kebert Mikayan, the co-chair, Brian Dose, to the members of this very dynamic team, Billy Jean Balsamo, Francis Therese Zabala, Martina de la Vega, FEU Political Science Society Officers 2020 to 2021, Diane de Leon and Rigel Alvaran. FEU Political Science Society Officers 2021 to 2022, headed by Danica Bergamo, 
Mar Louis Vincent Reyes for a wonderful emceeing and of course paper presentation. Rito Lopez, who has always been a generous Santa Claus, continues to be so. Kobe Brian Loterinia for helping us with the documentation as ever. We would like to thank particularly the members of the BOT who has been helping us doing the baby steps, taking the baby steps with us. Frankie, uh, Francis Antoinette Cruz, our outgoing president, our members of the board of trustees, of course, fellow members um, in the prior, the, the outgoing board of trustees, uh, Brian Dose, uh, Riro Lopez, of course, those who are still with us in the, in the new board of trustees, Eric Calata, John Harvey Gamas, and I, I hope I really haven't forgotten anybody, but please, please forgive me if I've forgotten you. Uh, you are well remembered, most particularly, of course, last but not the least, to our founder, Dr. Nasef Manabilang Adyong. There is no FISO without you calling all of us to form this organization that is already making big strides in academia, not only in the Philippines, but internationally. Thank you so much for this show of confidence. May we give justice to your confidence in us and may we continue the legacy of making FISO the great organization that it is. Mabuhay ang FISO, mabuhay tayong lahat. Good evening, everyone. Um, hello, everyone, and that ends our entire conference. Now, thank you so much to everyone who have participated. So, just to recap, we have seven a uh, total of seven panels, three roundtable discussions, and two book, book launching. Now, so it's it's quite a feat for uh, something that is being uh, done in in a virtual setup. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you um, being part of this conference. And um, I think that's all um, we can.